Hello friends and welcome to Knowledge by Nature. In today's video we want to show you a new subscription box that we have signed up for and that is Generation Genius. So if that is something that you are interested in I would love if you stick around. If this is your first time here, welcome. I am a homeschool mom to a third grader. We love all things books, homeschool, and sharing our journey with you. And if that is something that you are interested in, I would love if you consider hitting that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. We love our subscription boxes around here and I try to rotate them out so that we're not receiving multiple ones every month. But right now we are signed up for Generation Genius. I don't know if you've actually heard of Generation Genius before, but they're actually an online science curriculum and they have now added math to it as well. And the host for science is Dr. Jeff. He's very vibrant and exciting and it's just really, really fun. We've watched a few of the episodes before. We really like them, but I didn't know they had a subscription box and this is new. So this is box one. Unlike some subscription boxes where um, I don't know that you necessarily get like a box one or a box two. This one I believe you do kind of get in order. So we did go ahead and pop the tape on it. So let's check it out. All right, here we go. So we have a little Generation Genius Batch One Pioneer. So it's like a little sticker that you can maybe put on a chart or I'm not sure here. I'm not sure exactly but this, your kit, is part of batch one. The kit was assembled in Los Angeles, California and is part of our first batch. It is very special to us and comes with white glove treatment. If anything is not perfect, please let us know and we'll take care of it. So that is awesome. And then it talks about how the product was born and how Dr. Jeff has always loved science and wanted to bring this into classrooms. And now we have this in the home. So I think we're going to have some things in this specific box that we won't have in anything else. And some of that is possibly these gloves. So we have a small, medium, and large size of blue gloves. We have safety glasses for both mom, dad, whoever, adult and child, or maybe two children. So let's see, we have one pair of those and one pair of these, which they are the same. So that's really awesome. They have a really nice little glass bag and everything. And then we can also go online and there's actually a little password section here on our box to where we can get signed in with our kit one and we can watch Dr. Jeff do these. So I think kind of in essence, she could do this independently. I could pull up the laptop and she could watch it. So here is experiment one, and they are all in their own individual bags with the items that they're gonna need. Oop, this one poked out of there. So experiment one is liquid worms. Let's find out what's in liquid worms. In liquid worms, we have two little plastic cups. We have 2% sodium alginate. There is a little plastic tray. We have a little test tube beaker of calcium powder. We have a little syringe type tube, a plastic spoon, a little squeezy tube, and four different food colorings. So that was experiment one for the liquid worms. Experiment, let's see, this is experiment three. On the bottom we have experiment four, light painting, and this bag is actually cut, and so these little things fell out of it. So I believe all three of these will go with this set here. And I do remember seeing on the video how this talked about this was kind of one of a kind sort of thing that Dr. Jeff came up with this himself. So that is all that is in the box for experiment two. 
And then experiment three is the countdown reaction. So I see multiple tubes of liquid in here. I see little plastic containers, lots of different things. And then we have, this is in the bottom, she found it. Unrippable paper, seriously try it, okay? All right, you have the unrippable paper. Okay, try to rip it. Oh. Huh. I mean, it creases it, but... It creases, but you can't rip it. What? Okay. This is impossible. Ooh. All right, we have decided that we are going to do experiment one. What we have done is we have put on our blue safety gloves. There she is. We have our safety glasses on and we have pulled up our video which is in connection with our box. We are actually going to watch Dr. Jeff talking about our first experiment. So that's really fun that we get to walk along with him while we also explore. At the beginning of the video, we get this little safety thing by Dr. Jeff's mom. And she talks about how this is recommended for ages nine to 99, that all chemicals are safe at, when used as directed. And they do recommend that the child has parental or adult supervision as this is happening, but to let the child lead the way. So we've got our safety gear on and we have watched our safety thing. And now we're gonna start our experiment. All right, so we're working along with our video over here. It auto pauses automatically sometimes, which is really nice. And then it's really easy to pause even with the little gloves on while we're working. So we are following along and we'll keep you updated as we go. So now she's taking the food coloring in her little pipette and she's making scientific art. And the video has automatically paused for me while she's doing this. So do I. All right, so with the first experiment, she did her little scientific art. You can like swirl it all up. This could be like something that really took quite some time depending on your student, but she's ready to move on to the next one. So we're gonna set that. So really experiment bag one has two. We had the little art that we're gonna do and now we're gonna make the one that is actually on the bag, which is liquid worms. So the first thing that she is going to do is she is going to put 20 blue drops in this cup. So she's actually putting it into this little um, container here, not the cup, the little sodium alginate. But again, he walks through this really clearly and you know what you need to do. All right, we're to the big one. So I thought I would share with you. So your non-rippable paper goes on the bottom. I can't remember if I told you this, but I would probably recommend getting an even bigger piece or something to go under you, especially if you're working on a countertop like we are. So now we're gonna go to the next step. It auto-paused for me. So she put the little calcium into that, stir, 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 and next step. All right, so this auto-pause feature is really, really nice. He tells her to take the liquid, put it in the blue, and pull it up to a 10, and it pauses for her. And so this is where it would be really handy to make sure that you are with them to assist and that way you can unpause it and you don't have to worry about little sticky science fingers. Okay, go ahead and take that. Yes. All right, just like that. Now since I did that as practice, wow. you can do it as well. I'm gonna stick back up to the 10. Oh, Perfect. grass. Now we're gonna have it off. <laughs> here, ready? Oh, okay, so you've waited 10 seconds, so go ahead and pull out your ooze. Oh, no way! Ew, how... That's her really fat head. How cool is that? There's a little one in there, see? Yeah! Oh my gosh, that is so cool. That is really cool. Alright, so this is really, really cool. 
Oh yeah, that's awesome. So it says you can like take it out and set it over here to the side and that you can do this many, many times. So if you have more than one student, they could definitely take turns filling up the syringe, putting it in here again, and getting more worms out. So that is super duper awesome. She loves this. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button for me and we'll see you in our next one. Bye.